first learned about real options through a really good family friend and she had been working through uh, pregnancy clinics for many years and she brought up that um, pregnancy clinics did a lot more than just you know being the intervention in hands and feet in a clinic setting but there was a lot more to it and so I got interested and looked more into it and realized that at real options they do not just intervention but also prevention and then of course restoration and um, being a counselor in my background, I was very interested in prevention and education because I always thought that there was a lot more space and work that could be done for students and young people before they would step into the clinic setting. Very good. Talk a little bit about your role and your involvement with the ministry. Um, so I am in charge of education at Real Options and prevention. And so it means I get to go to schools and churches and different community organizations um, and talk to students as well as their parents or leaders about um, optimal health and healthy relationships as well as decisions when it comes to things such as risky behaviors that teens might face. Um, and it's, you know, it's really quite fun and also um, we get to empower not only the students to make um, decisions that hopefully lead to better outcomes in the long run, but um, it's also quite um, fun to connect with parents and tell them, hey, you know, you have a lot of power and authority to work with your students and to create that space for them and that environment for them where they can still um, thrive and choose something different than what um, I think typically the culture tells young people um, what they need to do. And so um, at Real Options, we get to um, empower and equip parents to be a part of that community as well as give students um, a lot of really good information and allow them to make healthy decisions for themselves. Very good. Um, talk about the vision, the mission, the heartbeat of Real Options. Um, I think the vision um, really is to reach out and support every single man and woman and student that steps in through the doors of Real Options, whether it is at the clinic level or if it's to step into one of our presentations um, at a school or community level or if it is to come into one of our um, online meetings or um, you know, restoration um, events. And I think it's, um, it's really, the, heart, the heartbeat really is to support and be the hands and feet of Jesus. Um, because a lot of times you know, people can say that they want to be Jesus, but the, it's another thing to actually get down in the nitty gritty, in the dirt, and sit with people in their pain and help them um, work through that and help them there, yeah. Very good. Um, talk about ways that uh, the Lord is using the ministry to shine a light, share the gospel, promote discipleship. Um, and when it comes to education, I think that the Lord um, is using our organization to shine a light because we're able to step into a very oftentimes secular um, sphere um, and bring God's truth even though we don't explicitly um, always state, let's say the Bible or verses or like faith words such as Jesus salvation, but we still bring his truth. And I think his truth is still truth no matter where you look at it. Um, when we bring in his, um, you know, his way of doing things or when we bring in topics such as what does it take to build healthy relationships or how do you draw boundaries or deal with conflict? You know, all of that does come from a place of truth that still applies. And I think students and parents and different people can still be blessed through that. Um, and, and in those interactions over time, um, they do see that there is something different and hopefully that echoes back to a bigger picture, which is the spirituality piece. And so I think when we step into a secular location and we bring in God's truth just packaged in a more um, in a way that they can accept they're still able to come in contact with um, you know what God is all about amen biblical truth is biblical truth that's good mm -hmm. then they ask you where do you get this from and you let them know later right that's good awesome. mm -hmm. good stuff so talk about ways people can get involved and support real options um, I'm gonna pause okay um, ways that people can get involved um, with Real Options when it comes to the education and prevention piece. Um, definitely, we provide a lot of presentations. We're always looking for ways to connect with the community. 
Um, so if you know of a church, an organization, or a school that wants to bring in this type of education or sexual risk avoidance programming, feel free to reach out um, and connect, and we can try to connect you with, um, whether you're in California or any other state, you know, these, there are organizations running these programs all throughout the U.S. Um, at the same time, I think I would encourage parents and leaders to get more involved because a lot of times there's a fear that when it comes to these subjects, such as sexual risk or teen behaviors, that there's not a lot of space um, for adults to step in and say anything. But the truth is, um, parents and adults still have a lot of authority and influence in their students' lives, and students do want to hear a different perspective. And so to get involved, I would definitely say, you know, um, you can check out some of our online webinars that we've been doing, so it doesn't matter where you are in the United States, um, and we have these real talks for parents to empower parents once again to equip parents to be able to have these conversations and support their students um, or at the same time you know pray for your students pray for your churches pray for your schools pray for your community because there really needs to be a change and i think um, there needs to be a shift in terms of how we are bringing this type of education to our students and there needs to be a voice of truth yeah. well said well said good stuff Talk about financial support. It's important to support the ministry financially. Yes, no? It's okay. I didn't prep for this one. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. That's good. So why do you do what you do? Um, I, I do... I, am, I feel very passionate about this because I was given the opportunity to have been given truthful knowledge and to be in a community where I was really supported. And so I, will, I have been able to make healthy decisions and choose a different path than most people of my generation. And it's not to say that it makes me better than anyone or that people should be judged for what they've done, but I think when you're given a choice um, and you are empowered to make healthier decisions, then you are blessed by whatever outcome um, is from uh, comes from that. And so when I see that blessing in my own life, I want to take that and give it to the younger generation and say, look, you have a choice. You know, I do believe you can do something different. I do believe that you have the power and authority to choose something than what um, the culture at large is doing. And here are how, um, here are some ways that you can do that. And when you walk with students through that and um, you keep them company and you give them you know, pointers to reach these long-term goals in their life. I think it's, um, you know, that's why I do what I do because when you see them come out on the other side and they're living successful, you know, full-faceted, um, optimal health, healthy lives, you know, it's, it really is rewarding and it really is allowing them to reach the purposes that God has created them for. Amen. Very good. So Revelations 12, 11, they overcame the evil one by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. What does that mean to you? And talk about our story. Um, I think a lot of times people can feel stuck with where they're at um, and young people can get really caught up in just kind of what's going on with everything in their lives and they feel stuck and so so I think when we talk about overcoming and we talk about um, you know having Christ be a part of that you know an example is we were in a classroom with a group of um, seventh graders. And one of the activities we did was just simply about, you know, like getting to know ourselves and the love languages. And during that lesson, the seventh grade boy felt so encouraged by his fellow classmates that he started crying. And he mentioned that, um, you know, he had never heard and felt so understood and cared for and through that, his life has been changed, right? And he said he would remember this day in this classroom for the rest of his life because he felt so encouraged and so solidified in his identity in that um, family of Christ, right? And, and the words that were spoken over him were truth, things such as, you know, you are loved by God, you are created in the image of God, and, you know, you deserve to be cared for and be in healthy relationships. And so I think when we are able to take this type of messaging, whether with biblical verses in it, let's say in a Christian setting, or um, wrapped in a more educational, psychological, emotional perspective um, in a secular setting, we're able to set people free because truth sets people free regardless of um, the location or where you take it. Well said.
Final question, is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us today? I think I would just wrap up um, by saying that no matter where anybody's at, that there's always space to change and make a change, that you're never stuck, that you can always get help. And if you're willing to submit um, to truth and say, hey, like I need help, um, you can always change and make things better. Um, whether it's emotional, spiritual, or physical, like pain or um, where you're at. Because I think, like I said, um, a lot of people feel stuck with where they're at, but, um, but God is always there. And I think there are always ways to seek out help and to gain more education and to gain more, um, you know, to, to make a change and to step out of that and to gradually um, heal and get healthier. Mm -hmm.